Ooh. They got the EDM on this job. Oh my god! Okay, I knew this would do a beat swap, and that's why I'ma jump on this jump. I got something for you. I got something for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, uh, yo, I got the sauce. Boycott Ninja on the track, kill them all. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> A set of auspicious armor. Charcadet! All right, Charcadet's evolving. I don't know. Who, I don't know who this man evolves into. Like, what is this evolving to? Bro, what is that? Pissed off, I'm a hit dog. You small fry to a big dog. And nowadays, you know them niggas scared, so they got a total pole. I'm a hit him with my fingers closed. That real man mentality. Beat him up, fatality. Put your bitch get over here, no scorpion, but my neck be icy free. Spin in the bag and I'm getting some more. Look at your bitch, one lean what up shinobi gang it's your boy kai ninja and welcome back to pokemon scarlet let's play part eight yeah we've been doing this for eight parts now and i told you guys it's gonna be the first game that i am going to complete 100 percent on my channel so we're gonna play this thing all the way through i hope that your thanksgivings have been good with your families i hope some of y'all gained that couple extra pounds that's a good thing when it's this time of year you know what i'm saying plus it's cold outside you, you can tuck away that gut a little bit until summertime you feel me now i noticed we didn't reach the like goal on the last video even now at the time of me filming this and at the time of me editing it most likely you know what i'm saying we did not reach the like goal so what i'm gonna say is that let's aim a little bit lower because i personally want to finish this series i personally like this game a lot and i'm gonna finish it whether you hit the like button or not so let's lower the like goal 25 likes for part nine if you want to unlock part nine hit the like button you feel me now moving right along to comment of the day yeah we forgot to do it in the last one so i'm bringing comments of the day to the series now the first comment of the day comes from timmy majin 1837 timmy says i was really suspicious of Ar arvin earlier in the game now after doing a few titans arvin seems to really care about his one pokemon he don't have other Pokemon if you notice. He just used one Pokemon he catches nearby the Titan Pokemon. On the other hand, great job beating the Ice Gem so early in the game. It was supposed to be like the seventh badge, I think. The seventh badge? Bro, what the hell are we, are you serious? Like, I cannot believe that I, I've been cheesing this game like that? Y'all, nobody was gonna tell me? Like what? Bro, we have, we literally have I think that was our fourth or fifth badge, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Bro, that was our fourth badge. We are definitely going to be overleveled for the rest of this game. That's crazy. But what what did you guys expect? Tell me, what did you expect? The legendary trainer is here on camera showing y'all how things is done. You should know what time it is, regardless whether it's the eighth badge, the ninth badge, the 20th badge, I don't care. I am the legendary trainer. Get it through your heads. Through your heads. We can beat the 8th gym with no badges. You feel me? That's just how we do around here, baby. Now, the next comments of the day comes from the homies over at Humble Hustler Club 720. They said, it feels good seeing a man of my color playing this. We definitely bring the flavor. Laugh out loud. F the racist. Love the content. But you sleeping on the Crocs. They comfortable. I got to tell you right now, bro, I don't see many black Pokemon YouTubers or YouTubers in general playing Pokemon. Most of us are playing some other shit, Call of Duty, whatever, you name it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I play that shit too, bro. It just is what it is, but I felt like I had to come in here and just show y'all some of my actual interest rather than just only going with what everybody else is doing. This is a game I'm truly interested in, you feel me? And as far as the Crocs, look, I, I, I don't know how else to put this. I really don't know how else to put this. <laughs> Double Joyce is ugly, bro. They're just, they're disgusting. 
And I ain't gonna lie, my, my little nephew, my 12 year old nephew, he loves Crocs. I'll tell you that, he loves them, but there is just no sauce, there's no flavor to them. You, you just, I be telling him, bro, you ain't gonna get no bitches wearing Crocs, bro. You're just not, you know what I'm saying? But hey, times have changed, maybe he might. In my day, that won't happen, bro, that was not happening. Now the next comment of the day comes from Patrick Wallace, 3885. First of all, what up Patrick? I've never seen you around on this channel before. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for sliding through and showing some love, you feel me? Patrick says, how has this motherfucker not got more traction, elite content, and packing all other creators up? Bro, what else is there to say? Like, it, it is what it is, you feel me? No, really, I, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, Patrick, for the love, and thank you for the recognition, you know what I'm saying? At least one of y'all recognize I'm the legendary Pokemon trainer, you feel me? But, you know, we got to also throw in and add to the discussion, legendary YouTuber as well? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yo, Patrick, I appreciate uh, the love, really. Thank you for sliding by. And uh, thank you for showing some love on the video. You definitely got a heart as well, just letting you know. Now, the next two comments of the day come from Tanner Hope 8330 and Temp Shop Shop TY 2059. Uh, Tanner says, that's definitely some good flower in that utility bag, you feel me? And he says, much love though, brother, love in the series. Hey, Tanner, I gotta tell you, if it was about a month and a half ago, this comment would have been 100% accurate, 100% correct. You would have been spot on. There was a fat ass sack of bud inside of the utility bag. And let me tell you, I used to literally ride around with like an ounce on me at all times just because I was like, bro, I never know when I'm going to want to roll up. And the thing that's crazy, I don't even smoke like that, bro. I might smoke maybe two puffs every three, four, five days. And I'm not joking, two puffs. I just was having it just in case, you know, I go hang with somebody, they want to smoke or whatever. Yo, I got you. You know, I'll roll up and stuff and I might take a, a, a drag or two, you know what I'm saying? And then toss the rest of it to them and let them keep it as a gift, you know, and be like, yo, let me know what you thought of it, you feel me? And the thing is, it's crazy about it is like, I like to drink more than anything else, you know, but, but I've been cutting back on that as much as possible, for real, for real. I'm telling them hangovers is crazy, bro, it's crazy. So I like to drink more than anything else, so most of the time I'll probably be sipping a cold one or something and then up somebody will be rolling up or they just, you know, I know they smoke more than they drink or whatever, so I'm like, yo, I got you and just, you know what I mean? Get them straight or whatever, but like, you know, roll up for them, all that. Give them the whole Kai Ninja experience, you feel me? Um, Temp Shop says inside the utility bag is makeup items. It ain't no makeup items in that bag, bro. It ain't no makeup items. I should have specified in the first video whose bag that was. That's your boy's bag. You think my girlfriend to carry that around on her back? That big ass Master Roshi turtle shell on her back, bro? Nah, she ain't doing that, bro. Not not a chance. She she wears cute stuff. Like I got her an Animal Crossing purse and like she got other stuff too, some designer and whatnot, but that's beside the point. No makeup items in the bag. I'm sorry, Temp Shop. You was completely off. One you were a thousand miles off. Tanner, if this was a month and a half ago, you would have been spot on and you would have actually got this correct. So since nobody got it, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what was in the bag. What was in the bag and what always is in the bag is a steam deck. Do you know what a Steam Deck is? You probably don't. Most of y'all watching probably only know what the Nintendo Switch is. Let me tell you, the Steam Deck, one of the craziest consoles ever made. And I don't even know if you can call it a console. It's like a handheld computer, but it also is a gaming console at the same time. You can run Windows on it, you can run Linux on it, or Steam OS, it's crazy. I'm not, this ain't no sponsored video. I'm not getting into all the logistics of it, but there's a Steam Deck that I carry in there with some chargers and other cables and things that I might need or might use on a regular wallet, stuff like that, you feel me? That was what's in the bag, but you guys were close. I appreciate y'all, but we moving on. Now the last comment of the day comes from Beast Gag. Beast Gag says, dude, I'm Aboriginal and I still get hate for my skin color. Do I actually, so I actually have stopped using my camera. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, I got a message for you. This is gonna change the whole tone of the video a little bit, but fuck it, we doing it, bro. History lesson. Aboriginal is some of, it has the word original in it, you feel me? It is some of the first humans that ever existed on planet Earth. And what skin color do you think they are? 
darker than this. I'll tell you that. I'm motherfucking black, but this, well, I'm light skinned, I'm mixed, but these niggas are literally dark. You feel me? Some of the first earliest known human beings on the planet, right? That's beside the point of what I'm about to say. Don't any, this, this goes to anybody. This is the crazy thing about it. Don't you ever in your life let someone make you feel bad for being you. Ever in your life, don't ever let somebody trick you into thinking it's not okay to exist, to be who you are. We can't change who we are. We can't change what we're made of. We cannot change what we look like. We just are who we are. Don't ever let somebody trick you into changing or hiding or being ashamed of who you are. Be who you are regardless who's watching, period. Period. Don't ever in your life do that. I recommend you cut that camera on and tell them niggas fuck you and tell them suck my dick. Straight up, just like that, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. We're not sugarcoating this. My probably that sense is probably gone. But yo, screw it. I might have to censor this. Fuck them niggas, bro. And don't even worry about what they say or what anybody else says. The thing is. The internet is a place where people get online and learn about all different types of people. People they may have never come across in their life. So it's a blessing that you showed up online, wherever it was you had your camera on or doing whatever, and showed people a little insight into what it's like in your life. You feel me? So it's a blessing and they don't know you're actually doing them a favor by making them less ignorant to the way of the world or the things that go on in the world, or the people of the world. You feel me? So that's just what it is. Don't ever let nobody trick you into that. Don't ever let nobody gaslight, green light, whatever the fuck is called you into thinking that it's not hard to be you. Fuck them. They're ignorant, they're they're stupid, and they're idiots. Let, them, let it go. Don't even worry about it. But that's it for the comments of the day, everybody. Let's get over into the gameplay. Now, in the last episode, we took on the gym leader, Grusha but fell, unfortunately, like many other people, into Nintendo's trap card. Yeah, and I thought we were playing Pokemon, not Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> we fell for Nintendo's trap card. Um, continuing on from beating Grusha, we ended up giving our Talon Flame a nickname, Steamroller, because they earned the title, Steamroller. You feel me? We leave there, we traverse down the mountain, we discover the poison type star raid battle, decided to skip that battle for now, and then we went on tracking through the desert, taking on Earth Earthworm, the uh, the Titan Pokemon, the Steel Titan Pokemon, destroying him because we were absolutely over leveled from being <coughs> the legendary trainer, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we, we left off right here in the desert, this is where we are now. Ah, my boy, Pack Roller in the building. Yo, that's my dog, bruh. Wait till I make Pack Roller have kids, bruh. And then I'm gonna I'm make sure one of them is shiny. We gonna definitely be doing that. We got Steam Roller on the team. Let me put you in your right position. We gotta move these niggas into position, you feel me? But yeah, um, what is this raid over here? Man, I gotta, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It, it kind of... It kind of affects affects my mind, you know what I mean? I try to act like I don't care about likes and stuff like that, but that kind of affects my mind for real. Um, like, you know, it's like all these people watched the video, but did they really enjoy it or not? You know, like, was it, was it, did they not like what I, the content that I made? You know, but the thing that's crazy is like, there's no dislikes. It'll be like no likes, you know what I mean? I'll be trying to just track on like nothing, you know what I mean? But this is what I got to say for real, for real. Y'all won't believe what my real reaction was when um when I actually like got on and saw that I didn't have those likes, bruh. I had the camera on and it just things just kind of went the way that they went. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what my reaction was. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what my reaction was. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright. Time to film part eight, man. Like, whoo! I already know the Shinobi gang that got me good with the likes. 34 likes? We had a 50 like goal though. So 283 people watched this video, but only 34 hit the like button? What? Screw that. 
Let me tell you something. We both have a job. Believe it or not. We both have a job here. Your job? Your job? It's simple. When you click the video, you scroll down to the bottom left and hit the like button. Is that so hard? You have one job. What are you looking at? Hit the like button. You still haven't hit it. You still haven't hit it. What are you looking at? And what are you looking at? You think this is funny? You think this is a game? You think it's a joke? I got a joke for you. <laughs> Come here, get over here. Yeah. Who's laughing now, huh? Yeah. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah. That's right, girl. I'm going to feed them to you later. Yeah. Who's laughing now? <laughs> Who's laughing now? Sleep. Sleep. It was real? Help! No! Please! Oh my... Let me out! Cottage, I'm sorry! Please! Oh my god. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, there's so many fucking spider webs! Oh, it's so dirty. <coughs>
Oh shit. Alright. I have to go down. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Help! Let me out, please! Oh, oh, oh. Let me out! I might go ahead and hit this trainer battle. What the freak is that? Ah. You guys hear that? It seems that the squirrels have returned once again. So I'm going to go ahead and go handle that right quick. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Up in there, making all that noise. You had one job, one job. Oh, it could have been so simple, but you did it. Listen to me. You did it. Listen, man. Uh, you left me no more choice but to take that choice from you. Uh, one job, man. I know, I know. I'll do my job. I'll do my job. Please. Let me out! Now keep all that noise down in there! Perform your job! And I might let you out! One job! You want to eat? I'll like the video next time! I promise! You want to go to the bathroom? Like the video! You want to get out of there and breathe some fresh air? Like Video. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. No! Please! I won't say it again. My dog's quite hungry. Like the video and watch all the way to the end. Or else, keep it down. I'm filming for YouTube. What's up guys? We're back. We're back. We're back. Yo, the squirrels be out of control. I told y'all. Y'all saw, man. Y'all saw. You thought I was joking, man. They just be banging around and making all this noise and stuff. It's just really just very distracting to be honest with you. But hey, it is what it is. We uh we back to the Pokemon gameplay. Let's go ahead and continue, baby. No, but seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed that little movie, you know what I mean? Me and, me and my girl, we be into making home movies, you feel me? And it ain't the type you're thinking about, by the way, dirty minds. Y'all make no sense, man. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Y'all know the drill. We're going to find the next gym, tear that gym up, and uh, we're going to start knocking out these star raids as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what we got on this map so far. Um, closest gym. Okay, these are some of the Team Star stuff. We got a Grass type gem, a Titan, the Rock, Rock Titan. All right, we're gonna knock that Titan out. Let's go ahead and get to it. So I'll be on the way to that Titan. We ended up finding uh, this town. I think it was called Zappa Pico or Zappa Piso or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and explore it. Uh, one of you guys had commented on the video and complained that I don't include the footage of me exploring the, the towns and villages or whatever. So I figured, why not? Let's go ahead and check it out. I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got here. So we got, it looks like, we 
got a sandwich place. Okay, I know that there's a there's a big man in there that likes to give us recipes. We can go ahead and collect that. That's what I've been learning by just uh, going to each of the. There you go. See, that's what I've been learning by going through each of the towns and like actually exploring them. And I don't really typically buy anything from uh, from these uh, these sandwich shops because it's like I don't even really know what they do at this point. And it's like I think that's probably something that's more for like. Uh, hunting down Pokemon or something more than anything else or leveling your Pokemon Grass type experience. So look we got a, a, a coffee drink shop. You feel me? Um, I don't think they got anything except for just a bunch of drinks and stuff for real and food And see this is what I was saying like encounter power experience point power grass Oh, we can use that for pack roller to level them up fast But I don't think that that's even necessary at this point. We're over leveled because we are just freaking beasts we got a gym area for battling, it looks like. Is there even a gym here? Where's the gym? One thing I gotta say is that what I miss... Fancy a trade. One thing I miss is uh, being able to actually go into buildings and stuff. Like, for real. I really do miss that a lot. I feel like that added like a lot of lore to each of the towns that we used to visit. Plus, there were like side little side quests and stuff. Like, there would be like... Um, Team Rocket stuff taking over like the the Silph Co building for instance and stuff like that I don't know if this game has that but I haven't discovered anything like that yet like nothing that's like seriously like You know anything that gives the town a little bit more life, you know and like lets us go in the buildings and explore But I get it. This is probably Nintendo's first um, first time bringing Pokemon to like the open world for real for real and I mean they, they did a great job I, I'm telling you I love this game. I know I'm gonna spend most of my time on it. No lie. All right, so let's see what this guy's trying to trade us. Ho, ho, ho. Hello there, child. I am a collector of curiosities and a great lover of Bronzor. I have an auspicious curio to offer if you'll trade me 10 Bronzor fragments for it. Do I even have 10 of those? Ho, ho, ho. Very good, very good. I feel closer than ever to Bronzor now. Here's the curio I promise you. Take good care of it. It's laden with blessings. A set of auspicious armor. What the freak is that? A peculiar set of armor that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Auspicious, auspicious wishes live within it. What is that? Where was that at? I think, I think that's under here. Auspicious of a curious, okay. Charcadet! We can we can use this on Charcadet? Whoops. Whoops. Yo! Oh, I'm so glad I decided to cut the camera on for this, bruh. Alright, Charcadet's evolving. I don't know I don't know who this man evolves into. Like, what is this evolve into? What the hell, bro? Arm Armor Armor Rouge. Bro, what? This looks like a Mega Man character. Armor Rouge evolved through the use of a set of armor that belonged to a distinguished warrior. The Pokemon is incredibly loyal. Dog. Oh, so he couldn't level up. Bro, he couldn't level up from, um, or evolve from leveling up. All along, I'm training. I'm like, when is this nigga gonna level up? Uh, Psy Shock. Let's see. Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that. What is this? An odd psychic wave to attack the target. Okay, okay. And he's a special attack Pokemon, it seems, but his nature is busted. I don't have to figure out if we can't breed him. Um, This never really does anything good for me, like Nightshade, but I guess it's good to keep a ghost type move on. Fire Spin, and we'll, we'll take away Fire Spin. So we have like a nice spread of different attacks and whatnot. Y'all see me thinking into the future, you feel me? This is what this is what the legendary trainer does, bro. Yo, that's so crazy, bro. Alright, where's the gym here? Like there's a there's gotta be a gym, right? And I wonder if there's anybody else here asking me to trade and stuff. Hold up, what is that? Oh, there's these just food stands right here, not bad. Um, I don't ever buy anything from them, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the ingredients and stuff are just for like picnics or whatever. And I did a picnic before. Y'all wanna see my sandwich making skills? Y'all, do y'all really wanna see my, I'll, 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 I'll save it for another episode. 
I'll let y'all answer that in the comments. You want to see my sandwich making skills? Let me know. Just say, make a sandwich. That's all you say. Let the comments say, make a sandwich down in the comment section below. People are probably going to be like, what the freak are they talking about? But that tells me you watched up to this point. So if you say that and you actually want to see me make a sandwich, I'm going to show y'all my sandwich making skills in the next joint. The name Zappa, Zappa Pico comes from a word for a pickaxe, fitting for a town of mostly miners, no? That's pretty cool, okay, okay. So they were mining and stuff and, and getting gold and shit. Well, right next to a desert too. I guess that makes sense as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a gem here. Why is there that big battle stadium in the middle if we ain't ever gonna use it? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, moving on, let's get to the next Titan Pokemon. All right, so we're pulling up here, Arvin. So he says, so, um, so from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere around this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up on high on a cliff or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. So don't go falling for any cliffs or anything trying to search. Don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. For sure, for sure. I already marked where it's at, Arvin. I don't know why you felt the need to let me know all that. Let's go ahead and get this guy knocked out the way right quick. Bro, I gotta say, the Pokemon around here are so, like, under-leveled. I'm, I'm feeling like maybe this is where I was supposed to go at first. One of the first areas or something that I was supposed to tag. Look at this. This is the Pokemon from the, um, from the, from the trailer. What we gotta do? Just, just run into him? What the heck is this man doing? What? Okay, okay. What the heck? Okay, all right. Let's see what we gotta. Let's see what we gotta do to run to beat this dude. Hey, for real, this is giving me vibes. This is bringing me back. The OGs on the channel that's been here for a while. You know about Cod Ninja's crab themed birthday stream. You feel me? This is reminding me of then. Uh, let's see how powerful we actually are to this thing. Because the other Pokemon around here was ultra weak. So level 8, 9, 10. Oh my god! Yeah! Yo, it's crazy! But what did we expect from the legend himself? You feel me? Yeah, let's go pack roller. We rolling up Titans. Yo, I ain't even gonna lie. Maybe we might have to go ahead and like slap a couple Titans on this episode and do a couple gems or whatever. Besides, might have to do that anyway because as things seem to be going, it, maybe y'all don't want me to finish the series. You know what I mean? You're getting, maybe you're impatient. Maybe I'm taking too long. I don't know, bruh. Let's go ahead. Let's get to it. So we know he's gonna level up. The Titan Cloth began eating something. That nigga was munching. I ain't gonna lie, that, that Urban Mystical look like it might be good. Cod Ninja, you found it. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No, Cloth has no cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? What do you think, Arvin? All the all the freaking battles we got into with Titans, you should know. Let's watch ourselves, Cod Ninja. Come on, bro. Let's get it. Bro, I don't think he stands a chance. I don't even might even want to rationalize. We are crazy with it, bro. Let's go, pack roller. Roll that nigga. Roll that nigga up. Bro, one shot. Easy, bro. Easy. Easy. And that move always hits crit. Combine that with a stat boosting attack. Oh my lord. The meta for this game is going to be crazy. Like, the competitive scene is going to be wild. Seriously. Meow Scarda or Scarada, I think that's what it's called. Bro, this Pokemon is literally top tier. One of them, at least. When I do my um my Violet playthrough, I'm probably going to go with the Croc. Yeah, not the Crocs. The Croc. All right, look, my little buddy. Coming through like a champ. What did you expect, bro? But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough something so tough out to get me. Yo, I feel you. 
That's probably how all the Shinobi's gonna feel when I start doing my competitive battling. They will be like, bro, I don't like having Cotton Hensha out to get me. You know what I mean? You, it's, it's just be like that, bro. The legend. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Urban Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. All right, then I want to know what the hell is up with this guy. Like, why is he treating Koridon so bad? Like, what the hell did Koridon do to him? I really, I just, I'm sure there's some here too. We're going to get some more backstory on this dude, on Arvin. I knew it. I spy Urban Mystica. Alright, we got the sweet Urban Mystica. Another successful search. We're on a roll. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Urban Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. This will definitely help Mabastiff uh, feel even better. Okay. I wonder if that dog is going to actually like be alright. You know what I mean? Come on, Kainaja, let's get some food going. I mean, it's a Pokemon game. I should expect it to be okay. You feel me? Like, what are they going to do? Let the dog die? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. Another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. You already know, bruh. Give me them badges, bro. Arvin is actually kind of shaping up to really be like, to seem like he might be a decent dude. Maybe a little misunderstood. Maybe a little rough around the edges, the way that he kind of like comes off on people and shit. But he seems like a decent guy so far from what I'm like, what I'm gathering. Oh, we already know what's about to happen. We already know. Karaidon gonna want it. We're gonna unlock some more abilities. Figure this might happen. Don't worry. I made extra this time for that brute of yours. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like, Arvin, you had to throw in there that he's a brute. What did he ever do to you? You feel me? And But the thing is, the, also, we can't overlook the, the fact that this is some character development. Like, Arvin is like, I figured this might happen, but I made some extra. The good deed does not go unnoticed. You feel me? Even though you might be an asshole, you, you're, you're a pretty cool asshole, bro. Yo, Karidon is so fucking cool, man. Yeah, take the sandwich, bruh. Come on out, Mabastiff. Uh, got some for you too, bud. Yeah, if you're sharing with your with your Pokemon, why the heck are you mad at me for sharing with mine? And we should call your dog a mutt. How about that? What do we call Mabastiff a mutt? Figured you were going to share some with that mutt, Arvin, but it's all good because I, I I beat another ty a Titan Pokemon knowing this was to take place. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I guess I'm petty, bro. I'm the type of person that I feel like when people do something to me, I feel like I'll do it back to them. You know, they say hold a mirror up to, to, to your friends, family and enemies and see how they view themselves. See how they treat themselves. See how they like being treated the way that they treat you. You feel me? Treat others the way you want to be treated, right? That don't always work in today's day and age, but we're not going to get on a rant on that. That's it. Small bites, small bites. That nigga swallowed that shit. Pause, pause, mega pause. Oh, we can dash? Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it down, right down, would you? Bro, pause, Arvin, pause. Pause, bro. I had to pause myself, too. I ain't even, I ain't even mad. This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Bro, why do you have to call him a brute? I don't understand. Karidon has not done anything to nobody, bro. Oh yeah, before I forget, Kainan, just take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Urban Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. Hmm. So does that mean a titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the titan kept his, keeps his food? That's what it seems. Oh, you done with your sandwich, Mabastiff? This nigga's starting to stand up. And barking. You heard that, right, Kaninja? Mabastiff just woofed, right? Yeah, I heard that shit, bro. So it actually is working. So this whole thing is like, this is really what, what the backstory of Arvin is. It's like, he just wants to just help his Pokemon, for real. 
This nigga, is, he's getting strength. Is he about to stand up? See? See that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, Mabastiff, who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He starts crying. Oh, it's been so long since I heard that woof. Bro, I, I feel him, bro. Mabastiff is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. I see you, Game Freak, putting some touching story in there. That is that is kind of touching. You know, I want to go get the other Titan just to just to help Arvin out. You know, the gym challenge is pretty cool and all. I mean, I'm I'm gonna slap him around easily, but it's kind of I don't know. This is like got a little touch to it. Hello, kind of. This is Sada. This sexy ass Sada, man. I detect the Karidon has regained more of its original power. It seems it would now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Okay. Now you can acquire the National Medal. Strike a tree. What? Just fall down. Okay, okay. So this is like the headbutt feature uh, from the older games where you could headbutt. You could use a TM teacher Pokemon headbutt, headbutt the tree, and it would knock Pokemon out the tree as well as berries. Please continue to take good care of Karidon. Okay, okay. Yo, how come Professor Sada never really has more to say to us? Like, or doesn't really chat with us? We never met them in person or nothing. All the other Pokemon games, you meet, you meet them in person. So we're clearly over-leveled like heck for this area. Um, I have done some exploring, and um, I'm going to do a little bit more off-cam. But let's go ahead and uh, jump to the next Titan. Let's jump to the next Titan. We're going to be going for... Where are we going to be headed? Where is the next Titan? Next Titan is... Where the freak is it? Oh, there's one here. The Dragon Titan? I don't know. That one might be tough. And it's in the middle of a lake. We didn't get surfed yet. Um. Oh. Damn, all the way across the map. Oh, we're going to have a journey for that. All right. Well, um, I guess we're going to be headed that, that way. Um, I'll see you guys there. Bro, tell me why I was here before. And there was a... Where is it? I think it's down here. There was a cave that was way too OP for me. And I decided to turn my way back. I think this was in like part three or four. Maybe part four. And I decided to turn back. And because of that cave, I got so scared that I didn't even go up here to, to fight this Titan. So I guess we're going to be really slapping through this. This is pretty cool. This remind me of uh, Mario 64. When the, the, um, the Bob Bomb was throwing all, them, all those boulders. Yo, by the way, the sprint feature, useful. What Titan is this? Oh, shit. What the heck? Um, who did I have on my team for... Who did I have for electric? No one's on my team for electric right now. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna use hope. Hopefully, this critical hit does something. It was not affected. I don't know why I did that. We are overpowered for this too, bro. I just have a feeling that we're just OP for the rest of the game. All right. This this is it seems like the same scene that just seems to take place at every single Titan. They just happen to go bust a wall down to discover a cave somehow that wasn't there before. Kai Ninja, you managed to get the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the open sky Titan. Wait, is that Titan is that is this the Titan that's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had its all its attention on you, little bud. Why does this nigga keep calling us little bud, bro? It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. Arvin, did you not see what happened in all the other battles? And you're so we'd better get ready to go all out. That tells me the way he's talking, as if it's like this is the first time, makes me think that this probably was supposed to be the first one of the first Titans. This or Cloth were supposed to be the first Titans. Level 19. He's only level 19. Yeah, clearly we weren't supposed to be here, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just slash it. Bro, I'm way, 
Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. Let's go, pack roller. You survive? Not no more. That was easy, bro. That was way too easy. I kind of, it kind of almost feels bad being this good. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of almost, it kind of almost feels a little bad. Ain't get no experience from that. No leveling up. No nothing, bro. How are we supposed to know which Titan to go to first? You know what I mean? Like how are we supposed to know which which path to take? But hey, it is what it is. This comes with it, I guess, huh? I would have liked to see level scaling though. I ain't even gonna lie. Way to go, Kai Ninja. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Let's get the Urban Mystica. Let's see if this helps Mabista. There has to be more of that Urban Mystica at 8 in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. Come out, come out wherever you are. Yes, found it. Here's our little herb. What type is this, though? The bitter herba mystica. Okay. This shape, this sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. <laughs> Bro, why do people think that stuff that's good for you tastes bad? It always be tasting good to me. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter herba mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing, and that warms you right up. Nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system, or so it says. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. I kind of want to eat one of them sandwiches, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it as you, in awe as you eat. I kind of want one of them sandwiches. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even eat yet, bro. And it's right after Thanksgiving. You know, we got them leftover plates, bro. <laughs> you feel me, bro? Oh, man, I should have brought a plate home for y'all, man, just to show y'all what it is, you feel me? But that's my plate. I ain't even gonna hold you. That's all me. What's gonna happen this time is the same thing as last, last time. Here you go, Karidon. Come on out, Mabista. Food's up. Oh, you got nothing to say now, Arvin. Arvin just expects it now. 100% cool with it now. No no calling my Pokemon a brute, insulting my Pokemon or none of that. I'm mad how they only made us battle Arvin one time. Like, I would I'll battle him again. Maybe a battle battle this nigga's Mabista if we can get better. Oh, ho, ho. Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Damn, bro. One bite. Oh, we got Surf. I was just talking about that. Seems like that fellow's also slowly regaining its original strength. Still, doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. I forgot about it having a battle form earlier in the, in the, uh, in the game. I completely forgot. It seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Uh, is this a mental block or what do you mean? Well, what type of mental block are we talking about? How do we unlock that? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like a psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Hmm, we talking about trauma Pokemon? We getting deep. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that Brute and Mabistiff will make a full recovery eventually. So how do you feel, Mabistiff? How's that Urban Mystica work? <coughs> This nigga talking, bro. Uh, no pressure. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Urban Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. Yeah, this nigga talking now. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Kind Engine and I are gonna make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's just, it just gotta be. Alright, Kai Ninja. The next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep our keep up our momentum. 
Here we go. Sound like Mario in this bitch, bro. So nothing really happened to him except he started talking more or whatever, or growling, grunting more. Okay, Professor Sada chiming in with us. Hello, Kaninja, this is Sada. With her sexy ass, I detected that Koridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Okay, okay. Okay. You can even jump in the water, too. You must continue helping Koridon recover. All right, bet. You gotta test that out. Um, it would almost feel wrong not to go back to that cave. Where is that cave at? There was a cave, right? I think the cave was like down here or something. I'm not seeing no caves on the map though. I'm gonna set this as the destination. I'm gonna go back and check that cave and see what they talk about now. Now that we didn't leveled up the legendary trainer, there's water right there. We could try it out in. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Go for a swim. It's pretty cool. I wonder if our Pokemon can swim. Nope. Can they go on a floaty? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Back in your Pokeball pack, roller. All right, let's see what's up with this cave. All right, so homie right here is telling us I didn't battle him last time. The area up ahead is dangerous. Let's just see how dangerous we talking, bro. Like for real, how dangerous we talking? The area up ahead is dangerous. The Pokemon there are super strong. I, I should have listened to him the, the first time I came here. I ain't even gonna lie. All right, Leo. Let's see what you got, bro. Pinch Ocean. I don't, I don't think it's that dangerous, bro. The only level 17. Don't tell me I was getting. I was scared of some level 17 Pokemon. This nigga just spun around. Teach Pyro Crunch. We got Hyper Beam. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna just use this. Might have to reteach him Endeavor at a later time. Leo spinning and shit. It was you I should have been scared of. You damn right. The legendary trainer, bruh. Alright, let's go see what we working with. Alright. We in this cave now, bruh. What's up? What level are y'all? Metatite. I think it said level 39. Not so scary now, huh? Alright. Pressure? You mean acupuncture? We gonna go ahead and capture him. Shit, I'm gonna go ahead and run through this cave. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't worried about nothing now. But we capturing some Pokemon while we at it. So it seems like it actually was kind of gate kept on which order we could uh, complete the gems. Seeing that uh, I needed the um, the Steel Titans. Uh, like ability in order to go through this cage shows me right away that this was gate kept. Ooh, where's that? Oh, we got some capture in there, dude. A hound doom? Oh shit! Saving it right before it is, just in case something go wrong. Knowing that he's a, you know what? Come on with it, bro. Might have to add you to the team. He's a ghost type as well. You already know. Trying to crunch him up with level 42. Okay. 
Okay. Who are those? He's mine. I don't have to use the Ultra Ball on him. I wanted him since the beginning of the game. I'm not even going to lie to you. For real. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's go. So now he's, he's part of the squad. Definitely part of the squad. Especially with that Ghost Terror type. But can he even learn ghost type moves? Like, doesn't terror types boost the attack power of um, the Pokemon's, like, moves? Whatever terror type it is, if you use that move, it boosts it. I don't know if um, Houndoom has any any ghost type moves, but whatever. We'll keep checking on through this cave. If you are burned by the flames that shoots from his mouth, the pain will never go away. Ooh. That's that's creepy. That that could that's like a never ending pain. That's like the that's like Sasuke's uh black flames, you feel me? The Amatsuru or whatever it's called. It's, it's, I think that's what it's called. The never ending pain and never ending flame. Sorry, we we've come across this village now. Um I don't know what this town or village is yet. I need to heal though. I need some more Pokeballs as well. This place is called Alfernada. Um, I am pretty certain that there is a gem here. I think I saw that this is a... What type of gem is this? This is the psychic type gem. So we need... Um, dark type moves or ghost type moves. I don't know if I have any of those. But yeah, um, I think we're going to save this gem battle for later on this episode. We're going to come right back to it. So our next point of interest, where we're going to be wanting to go, is the Titan, this Titan, um, the Casaroya Lake, the, the Dragon Titan. Now, I do have some Ice Pokemon from uh, when we battled Grusha, so I'll probably be utilizing them, and it seems like this is the closest place near there, so let's go ahead and start heading that way. We've made it to Casaroya Lake, and I'm saying I probably should capture one of these things. Level 52. We're under leveled again. <laughs> Crazy how that works, right? <laughs> under leveled all over again. I'm gonna do some training real quick. I'll be right. Back. Come on, bruh. I'm trying to catch this Vaporeon is is just not working. It keeps breaking out of Pokeballs, and I'm literally down to my last two Ultra Balls. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go. We add them to the team. Yo, this Vaporeon has Hydro Pump. It's a powerful Vaporeon. I'm adding them to the team right away. All right, so this is our current team. I think that I've done enough leveling here to where I can safely go ahead and explore this area. A Star Raptor, bro. I might have to go ahead and grab me that. Let me save it just in case I kill him. All right, we got him. We got him. That, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I had the soft reset because he took himself out using takedown. The recoil just just murked him. I'm not gonna learn any moves now. We can do all relearning this stuff later. Let's go ahead and proceed to this Titan. When Staravia evolve into Star Raptor, they leave the flock to live alone. They have sturdy wings. This is a sturdy ass nigga for real. I'll tell you that he was fucking my team up. We got Arvin calling us right now. Hey there, Kai Ninja. So rumor has it that the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake. Yeah. But not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for that thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure, would be sure would be handy if we just ran around crying, I am the Titan or something like that, if only, right? You're gonna find it, and you best believe that. And we're gonna slap him. So it seems to me like I guess water type Pokemon are the ones that can really truly swim. items throughout here <clears throat> all right so oh slow king okay okay i might have to go ahead and catch it we have one netball left i'm gonna use it on slow bro sorry i know i said slow king it's a slow bro slow king has the thing on his head i believe let's see if it works if it don't work i'm just gonna kill him bro i ain't got the pokeballs for this 
What is up with this lag? Sheesh. All right, we got him. That's, that's what's... Now, the good thing about him is that he has Psychic. So, I guess when we go to the Ghost-type gym or whatever, we'll be able to utilize him, uh, and, and it'll help us out. When a Slowpoke went hunting in the sea, its tail was bitten by a shelter that made it evolve into a Slowbro. Yo, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one seeing this lag. All right, it's back. I think, we're, I think we're good now. Yo, this is like... What is going on? I feel like we're about to crash or something. At least it's saving. Ain't the, um... The Dragon Titan supposed to be over here? Yo. We are getting some serious lag here. Wait, did that Pokemon talk? These niggas is talking? Sushi? Yo, they're talking. Oh, I can actually talk to them. What? What's the point of making me talk to them if they're gonna just fight me? Tatsugiri. Easy. So, so what's the point of all this? He's talking Pokemon? Something's weird with that. There ain't no way. Ain't no way. Something's weird with this. Okay, they're really trolling me because I haven't been beating these niggas up and now this one is saying Titan. Like it's saying Titan. It's it's like screaming out Titan. And I think this it goes back to what Arvin was saying. Can't, what if the Pokemon could scream out Titan? Hey, I'm over here. And I think that that's what this might be. So we're going to find out. Bro, what is that? That's, that looks like one of those things in the water that I've been killing. But it was a water type. Not a dragon. That's probably why it's false, a false dragon type. Alright. Hopefully we can merc him. I might be under level. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not under level, but I'm, I'm definitely like right here where I need to be. That ain't doing nothing, fam. That ain't doing nothing, bro. This a wrap. This a wrap. So I did all that training for nothing. I could have just took him out. Like, what the heck? Okay. Where you going? Get your ass over here, boy. Where the hell you think you're going, dog? Where are you going? I can't. What? Supposed to just follow him? Yeah, I'll collect some items along the way. Where are we going, bruh? Look at that. Look at that. What is that over there? I want to go check it out. Bro. Where did he go? A Gyarados. Oh my god. Every inch of me wants to capture that Gyarados. I'm going to just have to hold out, though. Drag it. Bro, I'm going to get a Dragon Dragon Knight. I know it's a Dragonair. Don't worry. I know it's a Dragonair. I want a Dragon Knight. I'm going to save it. Um, I might come capture them after I defeat the Titan. Where is he, though? He just disappeared under the water. I don't even see him no more. What am I supposed to do? It's telling me it's over here on the map. Okay. Here we go. You already know what time it is. Wait, what? That Pokemon went in the cave? Kaninja, did you find the Titan? So that's it? Sure is a big uh, dragon. Wait, is it even dragon or is it a fish? Bro, that jank is water type, bro. Huh? What? He just ate? He ate the other Pokemon. The little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan. Bro, I'm mad he called him sushi because we be eating sushi too. Like, yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. So that even happens in the Pokemon world. They be eating each other. So 
So that little thing must have ate the herb of Mystica and then fed it to him. Alright, well we already know what to do. Food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. Bruh, I want some sushi right now. I literally want some sushi right now. I'm, I actually might get some after this video. I've been hungry this whole video. I know y'all noticed. I got my freaking Thanksgiving leftovers that I could be eating, but nah, I think I'm gonna get some sushi, bro. All the stores didn't open back up. Do you like sushi? Am I the only one? I know a lot of people will be biased against sushi and just don't like it because the thought of raw fish. Bro, we're eating this nigga up, bro. I'm we gonna roll this nigga up and then we gonna put him on a plate and eat, eat this nigga. Pause. Eat this nigga alive. Do y'all like sushi though? I'm serious, serious question. I'm just curious. I wanna know, am I the only one? My favorite type, smoked salmon sushi. Um, what else? I like the uh, the volcano rolls. Ooh, it'd be so good. Volcano rolls, the spicy sushi, ah. The smoked salmon with some spicy mayo on top. Now, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not a fan of, of uh, mayonnaise, but when it's spicy mayo and it's with sushi, it's something about it that's just okay. I'm not even a fan of cream cheese, but when it's in when it's in sushi, I'm with it. We did it, Kai Ninja. Yo, what did y'all expect? Legendary trainer, who you, what you thought was about to happen? Now that the tight taken care of, next up on the menu is that Urban Mystica. All right, bet. Well, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. What? What? Around three? I'm fighting this now. Tatsugiri, the false dragon titan. Wait, my moves don't say super effective next to it no more. It just says effective. Okay, I, I literally, I just literally had an ice type on my team, Vaporeon. I don't know if I should let Pack Roller get rolled up himself and then use that Aurora Beam. Wait, Aurora Beam's not even super effective. What type is this Titan? I'm sticking with Pack Roller. Screw it, bro. He powered up for a round three. I shouldn't be terrestrializing. I'm not going to terrestrialize because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how strong this thing is. The other one was already strong enough. Mm. And that's what critical hits are doing? Okay. All right, we might be able to do this. And it's lowering our accuracy. Okay, this ain't this. This could be problematic. All right, yeah, you lower his defense. This shit, Arvin. I see you, bro. I'm terrestrializing. The only, the, the only downside about terrestrializing is that it, uh, like the terraforms, is that it takes so long to watch this cutscene. Don't get me wrong, the cutscene's kind of cool or whatever, but it just takes so long to watch it that it kind of discourages you from wanting to do it. I'm not sure if there's a way to skip that. Oh no. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. All I need is one more. Our speed fell. He might be faster than us. Read it. Let's go! All right, word, word. All right, so we did it. That's the last Titan right there, man. That's the last Titan right here. That's what's up. Yo, we're beasts. That's what it is. But yeah, um, I forgot what I was saying earlier completely. It just completely just mine went blank getting zoned in on that Titan. All right, so we, I think we wrap up the chapter of Arvin's story. Phew, nice job, Kai Ninja. That's my hardworking little bud. Stop calling me little bud. Damn, nigga. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together, like some kind of combo meal. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm getting some sushi after this just because of that. The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Urban Mystica inside. Let's go, Cod Ninja. You know the drill, Arvin. Let's get in there. <clears throat> that must be it. This one's red. I'm guessing this one is like uh, spicy or something. 
The last Herba Mystica. I knew it. The spicy Herba Mystica. It only makes sense being red. It's like that spicy mayo, you feel me? What goes good with sushi, right? That's crazy. They thought, yo, they thought of this. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. Yes, spicy food boosts your metabolism. This is not a lie. I'm telling you right now. You eat spicy foods, it makes you shed weight faster. It makes you burn your calories faster. It gives your circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins along with a ton of sweat. Yo, this ain't lying. That's crazy. They putting this in a Pokemon game, bruh. You know what's next is child time. Let's go. Are we gonna make a sushi sandwich? Squeeze this bash tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat. Yeah, I ain't doing none of that, bro. Got me fucked up. How does your story wrap up, Arbor? Oh yeah, and how does uh, Coridon's? Does this mean we get his uh, battle coin back? Yeah, you already know what it is. Yeah, take it, take it, bro. This nigga be dumbfounded. Oh, we got climbing now. Yo, that's weird, because you would have thought that we get surf from this titan, we get climbing from the crab titan, and we get flying from the bird titan, and sprinting from, from the earth earthworm titan, because it ran away from us so much. It would have made more sense that way, but I guess they throwing, uh, they throwing them, them curve balls. I guess it's Mabistiff's uh, turn then. Right, they really starting to make me feel bad with this Pokemon. They keep showing this little nigga just like, come on, bud, eat up. Man, this story is so touching. Arbin is just literally like, I, I'm telling you, man, I've seen it. I've seen it times before, you know, where there's like actually people that are living and their whole purpose is just trying to help their loved one get better. We've seen it in movies where a parent will have a sick child and they'll go to the end of the world to try to, um, you know, bring their child to good health. We've seen it in Pet Cemetery where uh, the the dude's loved ones passed away and he tried to bury them to bring it, bring them back. I think that was Pet Cemetery. He brought the kid back or something like that, bro. We didn't see it time and time again in movies, but I've seen it in real life as well. And it's always like such a touching thing. It just hurts to witness, you know what I mean? It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Kana and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want, you know? Just like we used to. Please, get better. This is how I be feeling when my girl's sick, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Yo, eat the sandwich, bruh. What is this long pause? I'm keeping this in. I'm not going to edit this out. Do y'all see how long this... Oh, that's why. We was, had a cutscene loaded. Mabista, you did your best, bud. Damn, I know that feeling where you gotta walk away. Oh shit. Oh, this nigga. Yo. This nigga's good, bro. What the fuck? Look at me getting emotional over a Pokemon game? Bro, this nigga's good. I wasn't sure it was gonna work for her. I thought they was gonna throw a curveball. Look at this shit. I know, bud, me too. Yeah, that's right. You helped me with this, Karaidon. You feel me? The legendary trainer bringing smiles to people's faces all over the world. You dig? 
even Arvin, you see how we turn somebody that was so hateful inside to someone that's an, a friend? I ain't gonna lie, I did that. I did that before. I didn't, I didn't got into fights with people and then we became cool afterwards because they realized, all right, you got it, bro. Because I was whooping their ass. <laughs> they was like, all right, you got it, bro. You, you know, you cool. You actually cool, bro. You know what? And then we became friends, bro. Hey, look, I ain't even gonna lie, Dimitri. If you still watching this, bro, if you're, if you seeing this somehow. Hit me up, bro. I know we ain't talked since, like, 12th grade, but, bro, hit me up. I beat this dude up in, like, it was, like, 5th grade, and we became, like, really cool friends from all the way from then into, like, 12th grade to when I moved away and shit. Crazy. If you see this, bro, hit me up, bro. I wonder how that dude's doing. Hello, Kaidenja. This is Sada. It seems that Karidon has regained all of his powers except for the power of battle. We didn't get that? It should be able to climb now climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs, on, grabs onto while you're riding upon it. You press the B button while facing the wall, Karidon will grab onto it, like and climb over the surface and move in the direction you want to climb the left field. Okay, easy enough. I knew you were the right one to entrust it to, Kai Ninja. Ha, <laughs> listen to you like you had anything to do with it. That voice, Arvin, are you there? Yeah, why is he talking to his mom like that? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you because because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Kaninja back to the lighthouse with you, to the lab on Poco Path. I will reach out once more when you arrive there. Okay, so he, he doesn't like his parents, but he talks to his mom like that? That's kind of crazy. I feel it, dog. I mean, that's still kind of crazy. Look at him, he's really sad. That's what it is. All he, it seemed like all Arvin wanted was like a friend that can give him some attention or something, you know? Because he was lacking that from his parents. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. I guess you are, you probably already know, but, but that, that's my mom. Here go to sad music. Always buried under her work, off pursuing her own research. Never at home with me. Yo, I called it, bro. That's the first time I've even heard her voice in years, you know? Damn. And, no, and now what? The first thing I get get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? She's seriously... Ugh, unbelievable. I feel it, bro. But I'm guessing you and Karada probably want to go, huh? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, fine. I'll get into get you into the lab. What else can I do? Damn. The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where you you and me first met. Bro, we gotta say something to Arvin's mom, bruh. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. I feel that, bruh. We gonna go cuss her ass out. What the fuck is she doing treating her kids like that, bro? Yo, I feel it, bruh. I ain't even gonna hold you. I feel it. I had homies that didn't have their parent, one of their parents around. Not gonna say which one. Mom, where have you been all this time? I remember how angry they used to be when that parent would finally reach out after years of not talking, and it's like, well, what the hell are you trying to reach out for? And they'd reach out to try to discipline them. Like, what do you, who do you think you are trying to discipline me after all these years? You feel me? You know, that's crazy. But uh, um, my dad actually passed away before um, before I was born, so I didn't actually have to experience that at all my dad would have been there he was he was a great father like before i was born he was already like taking classes and everything to get ready for having a kid he was he was he was gonna be serious about it you know what i mean but yeah i feel that man i got friends that were literally i have friends literally that are in the same boat as arvin so look we're gonna save it up we're gonna go to the uh poco path joint right we do have a um, we do have a gem that I wanted to tackle before we go to Poco Path and talk to Arvin's uh, Arvin's um, mom or whatever. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, hit the what gem is this again? The psychic gem. Nah, let's hit the ghost one. I feel like it would make more sense to hit the ghost gem because we have psychic type Pokemon now. Yeah, we can tag them. Ryan, aka the MC of Rip. Yo, that's dope. Alright, and we're gonna check the details. 
This ghost top user is among the very greatest. She is a legendary rapper who has performed around the world and her thrilling live shows rattled the bones with devilish beats and double battles. What? Double battles? We haven't had no double battles this whole entire game, bro. This whole game. Are we about to unlock double double battles? All right, all we gotta do is go to the Glaciato gym and I should be able to get there with ease. Yo, that's right up my alley. A rapper? We gonna have a rap battle, bruh. I'm I'm a rapper. As y'all know, your boy make music. I make beats. I engineer, audio engineering, and I rap, and I sing. We going right to it, bruh. I ain't even taking the, the path carved out for me. We can explore all this right after. Look at us climbing. Oh, it was that close. What the heck? How are you sliding? Wait, can we? Can we? Can't do the same. We can't do that gym challenge again where we were snowboarding. Yo, oh, there's the there's the Pokemon gym. Yo, it's flashing. This, I feel like this game about to crash, bro. I'd be worried. All right, we're gonna heal up. I think we might need to heal up. And we got, um, okay, so this is a ghost type. I have a ghost type. Uh, I have Haunter on my team, a.k.a. Shadow King. He's going to be a Gengar as soon as I trade him to Kado. And then, um, what else? So we got fire. We got two fire types. I don't know if we should have two fire types on the team. A fire and psychic type. Oh, snap. Okay, so we we can use that. The Psy Shock. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Psy Shock definitely... Oh yeah, we are. Oh, he's going first. And then we also call a Gold Duck, which has Psychic. And then we have Slowbro. I could throw them all on the team, but I'm not sure I'm gonna need to. Am I still over level? Because this is right next to the Glaciato Gym. Part of me thinks I might be over level. Oh, and while we're here, let's get some Pokeballs, bro. Chill. Stop talking to me. I'm gonna I'm, I'm get them. So we actually got a lot of stuff we can sell just to make some money, and I'm a bulk seller. We got 22 of these? Bro, how much money is that gonna be? 53,000, just like that. Whew. Overpowered? My pockets is overpowered now? Crazy. All right, let's see. Um, We can't buy Ultra Balls yet. It'll probably be better if I just beat this gym leader first and then buy Pokeballs. So that's what we'll do. Look who's here. Namona pulled up on us. I saw you going to the gym and came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Let's go. But hold up. I need to change out my party. No, you know what? Nah, I'm a, I should be good. Alright, let's get it. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for when where you're at in your journey. Sorry, give me a second to fine tune my team, then we can battle. Okay. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. Oh, really? Okay. Alright, well, that's what we're going to do. Welcome to the Mon Montaner Montanavera. Montanavera. Welcome to the Montanavera gym. Let me register. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Kaninja, Yes. Yeah. 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 Here we go. All the same jazz from earlier. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Rhyme, you'll need to first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Montanavera gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right. You're the opening act. Let's go. Your boy can rap. Don't even play with me now. Don't play with me now. Your job is to get up on stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in the front outside, on, in the front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun. Bro, don't tell me they gonna give me some, no, they give me a nice beat. I might have to freestyle for y'all, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I might have to go ahead. All right, so I think this is the dude that we're supposed to talk to. Hey, you opening act. Yo, trainer, you the one performing the opening act today? My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. 
The venue will be so hot it'll melt the Montanavera snow. Once you get the audience worked up ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. Bro, you ain't, you, I see him trying to rhyme. It ain't even, are they gonna put some tunes on? Like, your opening act begins as soon as you get up on the stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna say not yet. I'm gonna change my team up real quick. And if you don't shut up. Let's switch this up. Hopefully this will, this, will, this will do us justice. All right, let's get it. Sweet, just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head, um, head on up to the stage. I ain't gonna lie, I think I'm gonna just crush him. Like, it's gonna be so easy, for real. Woo! Hold up. Woo! He got the EDM on his jaw? Oh my god! Okay, I knew this would do a beat swap, and that's why I'm gonna jump on this jaw. I got something for you. I got something for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, uh, yo, I got the sauce, boycott Ninja on the track, kill them all, Go teeth in my mouth and I ain't trying to floss, if you want a Pokemon battle, you gonna end up getting tossed, big L on your forehead, yeah, that's a loss, high speed, need for speed, move fast like Nas, fuck it, fuck what it costs, baby girl, come up out them clothes, take it off, yeah, your boy wants smoke, the pack roller, go ahead, roll him up, serving out L's like it's a license, but it's lean in my cup, he gonna be choking on the L like coughing, ghost type gym leader, put him in a coffin, yeah, young ninja man saucing, yeah, yeah, oh, Hey, yo, I'm I'm telling you, bro. I could, I'm telling you, bro. They not ready for me, bro. They not ready for me, bro. The legendary trainer spitting rhymes. It's my time to shine. I'm on the grind. I don't really give a fuck with the what's on your mind, and I'm read it like I'm a psychic Pokemon, and I don't really care because I'ma leave your girl choking on something big deep down the throat like earthworm, nigga. My headphones dying. Okay, okay. All right. Anyways, anyways, we done. We done. We done. We done. We done. I'm getting out of hand here, bro. I'm getting out of hand here, bro. Niggas going crazy, bro. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready, bro. Y'all not ready, bro. All right, this nigga said, "What up, Montanavera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by your challenger here, Cod Ninja." Bro, they could have made this rhyme. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. You know, I make it look like a breeze, but they're talking about him, but I'm talking about me. Fuck out of here. What do you see? Yeah. Checking up on the D to the B, the double battles, baby. Yeah, you feel me? That means one plus one, right? Can you do the math? This about to end in something that's so tragic and sad. We're challenged by the ghost type Jainer named Taz. And I'm the Tasmanian devil. You feel me? I'm going to stop rapping. I got to stop. I should have never started. I should have never started. All right, let's go. We are overpowered. We're overpowered. Um... What, what is this move again? I can't see. I can't see. Side shock. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're going to smack the graveyard with that. Or should we hit the chef it with that? We're going to smack the graveyard with that. Gengar. Y'all can just do this. Hex. Um, I'm going to use Hex. Fuck it. Let's go, one hit KO. Why am I rhyming? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, bro? Oh my god, that even rhymed. That didn't even mean to rhyme. I'm trying to stop. All right, I'm stop. I'm chilling, bro. I'm trying to chill, bro. I'm trying to chill, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. They ain't, they ain't do nothing. Wow, this battle's amazing. I'm going to call my friends to come cheer you on. Yeah, they better come cheer me on. Feel me? Tell them join the Shinobi gang while they at it. Hit the subscribe while they at it. Hit the like while they at it. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. The music, bro. Left them looking sad, bro. I'm gonna do that to so many of y'all where y'all try to battle me, bro. That's just 
This is what it is, man. Yeah, they cheering. Cheering for your boy. The Montana Vera stage has all the latest tech. The more exciting the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. You got this. Oh, he healed me up. And the challenge's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie. Okay. Strong compliments. Read the harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Lonnie. It would have been crazy if they were spitting bars while we're battling, bro. Or even at all. I'm not seeing nothing really that's rhyming like that. But you got a Haunter as well. Okay. Check out that Haunter, because he probably got uh, high um, high speed, high speed EV, so. Oh, mine is higher speed EV than his. You still good? Nasty, bro. I wonder if this means that there's gonna be more double battles. Like, I'm hoping there will be. Because, like, seriously, I like double battling. If not, hopefully, it's in the multiplayer. That wasn't harmony, it was a cock and cockaphony. What the fuck did it say? Coca? Cock? I couldn't read it in time. Oh, the stage. Opening acts turn and cheering and stage lighting up to 11. Turn the cheering and stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise for my new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than me, MC Sledge. Nigga, you ain't no MC. I see what you got, bruh. I know a couple artists that I've actually worked with that kind of look similar to this dude, but he might be, who knows? Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. I'm so distracted by the music, bro. Alright, take the drift loom out with this. Hit him with the hex. The save lie. He's a dark type, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Didn't do much for him though. He's a dark and um both of them. Okay, so he switched it up. They're not. Nice compliment of each other's like I thought that was going to kill, probably. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have more faith. Ooh. Is that Shadow Claw? That move was really great. Consider me your newest fan. Bro. Armor losers. Yo, we're, we're getting buffs because the, the crowd is cheering us on. Oh, this is a wrap. Should be easy. It's a wrap like a packed lunch. Move Saber Live was about to use is probably gonna be punch. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, this 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 music is very like um what's the word for it? It's changing as it's going on. Like it's like active. What's the word? It's like whereas whereas it it's changing based on what's happening, pretty much. The audience excitement has reached a fever pitch. Woo! How lucky that's a, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Card Ninja. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. What y'all expect? I'm nasty, bro. That's why he cheer it up. Cheer it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You not, you know what I'm saying? I feel a scary sense of a uh, good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready to move, ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Get up for MC of Rip Rhyme. They better rhyme. I'm telling you.
Okay. What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what you I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, 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 woo. Okay. Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I get this started for real. Bro, that's kind of remind me of Killer B. She kind of remind me of Killer B from Naruto. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time. You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff you already passed. Okay. Bro, that was easy, bro. Stood no chance. The gym leader gonna get the same treatment. Let's tell him we pass and then I'll go battle. Let's get it. This should be pretty simple. Yo, yo. It sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. Oh my god. This is my time and this is my day. You're gonna you're not gonna stand in my way. You actually are rhyming. Listen up, Ryan, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Okay, okay. Where the, where the, where the, pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on the deep discount. Woo! Please, you think you can step to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. Oh my lord! Okay, bars! I'm a specter from which there is no protector and victory unto me. You will render the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. Okay, okay. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Woo! Bars! Oh my lord! I'm done. You won. My rhymes totally whipped, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. Oh! I should have. I should have rapped on that beat. Hold up. Where you going? That's all you got. She mad, bro. <laughs> Big mad, yo. What the heck? I like this. I like this. I like this. Uh, this gym leader, bro. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crowd if no one uh makes me fight to keep it. Yeah, let's go. They about to watch you get slapped. Hey, my open is back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a rap battle. You got jokes. You both know why you're really here, bro. Let me thus battle. You were captivated by the show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one run. I'm like Sableye, my mean look, my mean look, my mean look will lock you down. You like that? You feel me? Yeah, let's go. Okay, what else you got? <laughs> well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. I'm a rapper too, bro. My music's not all at the top. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm liking this gym. I think this might be my favorite one. Lest you forget it, the name is Rhyme and I'm known as the MC of RIP. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Okay, okay. I think this might be my favorite gym, for real. I think this is definitely my favorite. This is my favorite gym. This is my favorite gym, bro. This is fire, bro. <laughs> MBQ, oh shit. All right. We don't mess around in Monte Nevera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare you. Oh, she's rapping while we battle. That's what I was talking about, bruh. That's what I was talking about. All right, uh, it's, this is going to be easy, though. Get Mimikyu out of here. Wait, no, 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 wait. Mimikyu has an ability, I think. I remember. Let's get the Bennett out of here. Hit Mimikyu twice, I think, in order to take it out. Let's go, let's go. I didn't mean to use Sucker Punch, but whatever. His disguise is down now. Ooh! Okay. You're still done. Oh yeah. He... What is wrong with me? I should have used that. That was not super effective for some reason. It, it didn't hit super effective. No, Ryan hit me with a super effective joint. They're cheering for the opposite. All right, bro. All right, now we take out Mimi Kuna. Hit Hex on uh, Bennett. Don't kill, don't kill. He's gonna kill. Yeah, okay. 
All right, we know. I know what to do. I know what to do. I didn't think they were gonna take out any of my Pokemon. I got overconfident. Sheesh. Get your ass out of here. Really? It's all right. I got Night Slash on Pack Roller, bro. They're still cheering for her. She's gonna slowly get powered up. I knew it. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That Bennett gotta go. I need to, I need to heal. I don't got a choice. Uh, Hyper Potion should be enough. Okay. I need Pack Roller. Smack him with the... Like slash, get that bandit out of here. I think I got higher speed, maybe. I think maybe I have higher speed. Mm. Maybe he's going for it. They both they both might be using that move on the same Pokemon. They know the threat here. Get your ass out of here, boy. Get your ass out of here. Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to learning last resort. I ain't got time to be reading that. Houndstone. Yeah, cheer for me. That's right, cheer for me. I'm the I'm the legendary trainer. You're gonna find out. Yeah. The music gets more intense. Alright. The music is dynamic. That was the word I was looking for earlier. Dynamic. All right, let's see. Um, Mimikyu gotta go. Gotta go. See ya. Smell ya later. That Mimikyu might still have the speed on my armorage. Maybe. And he went for the, he, okay, he, he, he messed up. Go. You threw power is a real threat, but the party's still going. I haven't lost yet. She's still rhyming. Toxtricity? Yeah, they're gonna definitely. I already know what's about to happen. Toxtricity is gonna have a ghost terror type. That's what it is. This was easy though. I'm not even gonna. There's no need for me to use my Terra. It's gonna take too long. Like, what's supposed to happen with all them popping up? Pretty vibing. And I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G rave over there, sure feeling it. I feel you. Her eyes though, that's so dope. I like that little effect they're doing where the eyes go like, like this. <laughs> Adds to the intensity. But then they ruin it with this music. <laughs> Easy, bruh. Get out. Get out of here. Cut them off. Cut the music. Cut the music. We're done. It was too easy, bro. Woo! Ha! Great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got spirit, kid. You earned the gym badge, all right? And how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? How about we have our rap battle now, bro? How about that? That was easy. With five gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 45 and they'll listen to what you have to say too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm gonna uh, also gonna let you have this. TM, Shadow Ball, nice. Too bad it's over, make your way uh, back to my stage sometime, maybe next time we rap battle instead. That's, that's literally what I'm saying, like let's do that now. I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. 
Yeah, that's my favorite gym leader, bro. Hands down, that's my favorite gym leader for sure. Oh yeah, now we got a battle. What's her name? Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you. I'd guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very in interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, Coninja! I've got my team all picked out! I knew she was about to pop, pop in. And I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, Champion Nimona. It, certainly, it has certainly been a while. Whoa, wait, La Primera with Kai Ninja? Yeah, what, why did she call Why did they call her that again? Did I forget to give you a full explanation? Everyone calls me Miss Gita, calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. So La Primera means the prime, I'm guessing. And that means number one in, in, uh, in, in Spanish. I'm guessing. I might. I could be wrong. Because um, I know one is Uno, but Primera is Prime, right? I think. I don't know. Whatever. Don't. Don't. The Spanish-speaking Asian, fortunately, just walked in to the house, so she can come over and translate for us. Come over here and translate for us. I'm so glad that you walked in at the perfect time. I'm sure these people have been dying to see your beautiful face Hi as guys. well. You gonna squat down, so. What's yeah. Up? So look, the the word was La Primera. Mm. What does that mean? Can you translate for a Spanish-speaking Asian? Put them. So post-editing Ka Ninja here, we actually messed up. When Kado came in, the Spanish-speaking Asian herself came in to uh, do our little voiceover or to tell us the translation, it messed up. So I'm going to reenact the best that I can uh, exactly what was said by each one of us uh, in the best that I can possibly do. So here goes. And put the put the mic closer to that beautiful face. Um, it means uh, the first lady. <laughs> first lady, really? That's what it means. The first lady, just like you, baby. Y'all, oh, come in. Let me give you a kiss. I'm glad you walked in. I'm glad you walked in. It's been a long time, but anyways, go ahead and get out of here. Get out of here, Spanish speaking Asian. Get out of here. Go ahead, Spanish speaking Asian. Go ahead and give it up for the Spanish speaking Asian. And she said that the translation is the first lady. You only get one first lady, and she's that first lady for me. So when we battle that champion, you already know we finna bust her motherfucking cheeks. All right, guys. So uh, that's the best that I can do for now. So for the next part, we're gonna fast forward through the battle and the next everything else. And then uh, I'll see you guys at the outro. Alright guys, that's it for now. We had a very, very, very eventful episode. I hope you enjoyed this very special edition of the Pokemon Let's Play series on our channel. This is a Shinobi Gang special, you feel me? You don't get this nowhere else, you dig? So what I wanted to say is, look, this was a very long recording, a very, very long, actually five hours, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably end up compressing it down to somewhere around an hour and a half to two hours, something like that. You guys get a double upload in one video, you feel me? So I hope y'all have enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit it. I know y'all saw the skit earlier, bro. I know y'all saw that skit earlier, bro. That's a real demonstration in the real life. What takes place to those of you that watch can look at this beautiful, handsome face and not hit the like button. Y'all watching the video all the way through. You might as well hit the like button. 25 like goal. I kept it low for y'all. Let's see what we could do with that, right? Am I right? Let's see what we could do with that. I don't know if I put too much faith in y'all before or what it is. We got we got jobs to perform around here. I'm doing my job. Now you got one job. One job. Don't forget. Okay. I love you guys, man. Take care of yourselves. I hope your holidays were well and uh, stay healthy. Stay happy, Shinobis. I'll see you guys in the next time and the next one or whatever. Peace out. And by the way. I can't make no promises that we're going to do episodes this long again, but I can promise you that I'll see y'all the next one. So, peace out. They better hit that like button, man, I swear. <laughs> they going to share the same fate. Expensive ride, so
suicide dose. Been really chasing that bag. The things I never had. Yeah, that money gotta go grab. Take yours as mine and now they like, please return this slab. Yeah, them bitch niggas be mad trying to put me on blast. But I go and blast. It's a robbery. You know my niggas mob with me.